1979, a comedic gem titled The Frisco Kid graced the screens, pairing two unlikely companions on a journey across the American West. Starring the iconic Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, it's a delightful blend of humor, culture clash, and camaraderie that keeps audiences entertained to this day. Perhaps you recall the unmistakable presence of one of these classic Hollywood actors whose performance resonated most with you. Or was it the first time you stumbled upon this film that remains etched in your memory? What cherished moments or personal experiences do you associate with this movie? Your stories and memories are a treasure trove we'd love to uncover in the comments below. Did you know that Gene Wilder learned to speak Yiddish for his role as Avram? Or that Harrison Ford performed many of his own stunts, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the adventure? These intriguing tidbits only scratch the surface of the charm held within this underrated classic. Share your tales, and let's delve deeper into the shared nostalgia and affection for this endearing film at the anecdotes flow. The Frisco Kid, released in 1979, is a delightful comedy adventure film directed by Robert Aldrich. It follows Avram Belinsky, a naive but earnest Polish rabbi, portrayed by Gene Wilder as he embarks on a journey to San Francisco in the Wild West. Tasked with establishing a synagogue in the American frontier, Belinsky encounters various challenges and humorous situations along the way. His unlikely companion, Tommy, played by Harrison Ford, is a bank robber with a heart of gold, adding a dynamic blend of humor and camaraderie to their escapades. The film beautifully juxtaposes Belinsky's innocence and faith against the rugged, unpredictable landscape of the West, leading to both comical and poignant moments. The movie's charm lies in its ability to blend culture clash, friendship, and the pursuit of dreams in a humorous yet touching narrative. Despite its initial modest reception, the Frisco Kid has gained a cult following for its endearing characters, witty dialogue, and heartwarming storyline, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and becoming a beloved classic in its own right. Beige Barquette made her feature film debut in the 1979 movie The Frisco Kid. Though not the first time the title The Frisco Kid was used in film history, this particular rendition stands distinct from the 1935 western of the same name. Moreover, while this film marked a departure from Harrison Ford's previous western roles, it wouldn't be his last foray into the genre. Prior to this, Ford had appeared in lesser-known westerns during his early career on television, and in films such as Journey to Shiloh and A Time for Killing. However, The Frisco Kid stands as an individual chapter in Ford's Western filmography, serving as a notable departure until his return to the genre in Cowboys and Aliens. When the rabbi in the 1979 movie The Frisco Kid asks, why is this Sabbath different from other Sabbaths? It's a direct reference to the Passover Seder ritual. This query mirrors the tradition during the Seder when the youngest child asks a similar question. This thematic connection between the rabbi's inquiry and the Passover ritual adds depth to the film's exploration of faith and tradition in the Wild West. The scene captures the essence of cultural adaptation and the clash of customs in a poignant yet humorous manner. This pivotal moment underscores the rabbi's journey and his navigation through unfamiliar territories, both geographically and culturally. In The Frisco Kid, a notable scene features an Orthodox Jewish man mistakenly identifying Amish men as fellow Orthodox Jews. This cultural mix-up adds a touch of humor to the film, highlighting the clash of traditions in the Wild West. Interestingly, a similar scenario unfolds in Witness, another film starring Harrison Ford, where an Amish boy assumes an Orthodox Jewish man is one of their own. This thematic recurrence between the two movies adds depth to the Frisco Kid's exploration of cultural adaptation and the comedic challenges faced by its characters. The film not only entertains but also subtly addresses the complexity of coexistence in a diverse society. This cultural juxtaposition isn't the only intriguing aspect of the Frisco Kid. The Warner Brothers film's trailer cleverly incorporates footage of Gene Wilder from his earlier works, including Blazing Saddles, Silver Streak, and Young Frankenstein. This strategic use of clips not only showcases Wilder's talent, but also connects the Frisco Kid to his previous successful collaborations, setting expectations for a delightful performance. Amidst the film's charm, some viewers have raised an eyebrow at the name Daryl, considering it potentially anachronistic for the Wild West setting. 
While etymology suggests the name's usage by English speakers emerged in the late 19th century, its roots trace back to Old French, where Dierle referred to someone from the town of Arles, meaning open space. This linguistic journey adds a layer of historical curiosity to the film, sparking discussions about language evolution and the nuances of names and cinematic portrayals of different eras. In conclusion, The Frisco Kid, beyond its central narrative, weaves in cultural misunderstandings, clever trailer techniques, and linguistic curiosities. These subtle details contribute to the film's depth and appeal, making it a memorable piece in the world of comedy adventure cinema. The Frisco Kid, a 1979 comedy adventure film, marks a notable point in cinema history. Directed by Robert Aldrich, it stands as his penultimate film. He would go on to direct all the marbles in 1981, concluding his impressive career. Notably, The Frisco Kid shares the cinematic landscape of 1979 with another Western comedy, The Villain. This pairing makes 1979 a distinctive year for the genre. Moreover, the film holds significance as the final appearance of prolific bit actor Rolf Sedan, adding a layer of historical interest to its production. These facts provide a solid foundation for exploring the unique attributes and impact of the Frisco Kid within the context of its release year. Gene Wilder's comedic brilliance in Western settings, showcased in films like Blazing Saddles, found a continuation in the Frisco Kid. This 1979 release capitalizes on Wilder's established screen persona, blending humor and adventure against the backdrop of the Wild West. Interestingly, The Frisco Kid shares the fate of several Hollywood westerns of its time, facing box office struggles during the late 1970s and early 1980s. The genre, including films like The Villain and Going South, experienced a downturn at that period, reflecting a shift in audience preferences. Adding a layer of behind-the-scenes intrigue, Harrison Ford's involvement in The Frisco Kid came with a twist. Originally offered to the iconic John Wayne, Ford stepped into the role after Wayne's decline due to ill health, shortly before his passing. Ford later revealed that director Robert Aldrich's demeanor suggested a lingering disappointment over the change in casting. Ford, reflecting on the experience, mentioned enjoying working with Gene Wilder on the film. However, the subtle tension stemming from the change in casting dynamics adds a nuanced layer to the film's production history. In summary, The Frisco Kid not only leverages Gene Wilder's established Western comedy persona, but also navigates the challenges faced by Hollywood Westerns of its time. The behind-the-scenes dynamics, with Ford stepping into Wayne's shoes, contribute to the film's unique narrative and historical context. As we ride off into the sunset of this cinematic journey, let the echoes of the Frisco Kid linger in the corridors of your memories. The untamed landscapes of the Old West, the clash of cultures, and the unlikely friendship forged in the crucible of adventure, these are the threads that weave through the tapestry of this 1979 gem. Now, dear friend, take a moment to reflect on your personal odyssey with the Frisco Kid. Was it the comedic brilliance of Gene Wilder, the poignant cultural clashes, or perhaps the unexpected warmth that touched your soul? As the credits roll, let your mind wander through the dusty trails of your own experiences, and share with us your favorite moments, the scenes that sparked laughter or introspection, and the characters who found a permanent place in your heart. In this digital campfire, let's gather round, and celebrate the magic of storytelling. Share your musings, your reflections, and your nostalgic whispers about the Frisco Kid. After all, the beauty of cinema lies not only in what unfolds on the screen, but also in the unique connections we forge with it. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and celluloid. Your thoughts, like cherished treasures, add depth to the legacy of this cinematic voyage. Until our narratives intertwine again, happy trails, and may your memories of the Frisco Kid forever dance in the flickering light of your reminiscences.